right. Hi, everyone. Um, great to be here. And thanks, everyone, for your continued support in, in, in the, as part of the ocean community and for your interest uh, in ocean to, to be here today. Uh, with that, I'm going to um, share my screen and get going. So I'm going to uh, introduce a bit more um, directly about Ocean V3 itself, which has two main parts, Data Tokens Foundation, as well as Ocean Market, um, a, a key app that we've built on top. So uh, to summarize what Ocean is about, um, we frame Ocean as tools for the Web3 data economy. Tools because um, we want it to be useful, and it's not about a zero-sum game among platforms. It's really about just making something useful that people can incorporate in their flows. Um, with Ocean, we want to make it really easy for people to earn on data. And um, I'll drill on that in my, my second um, part of the talk uh, uh, later in this webinar. But um, the, the summary is uh, you can use Ocean Market App to earn by selling data, of course, as well as by curating or staking on data. Secondly, you can use Ocean Protocol libraries to build your own app um, for, of course, secure, privacy-preserving data exchange. And within Ocean, um, you'll hear the word data token a lot because every single data service, every single data set, et cetera, gets its own data token, which helps to unlock things like a crypto wallets as data wallets, um, DEXs as data exchanges, data co-ops, and so on. So um, Bruce has already given a bit of a, 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 an overview of the Ocean vision, but I'll just summarize kind of how another way of, of seeing this. Um, just like crypto itself has been opening up money, going from the sort of shadow money economy of the Fed and banks, um, to uh, a more open token economy with Bitcoin and Ether and now DeFi really helping to open things up um, in a more transparent, permissionless fashion. Um, so take that as well as, you know, knowing that, you know, the digital economy is a data driven economy, to quote the World Bank. Um, it's massive, uh, just massive, massive, massive. And um, even, you know, some of the quotes here, um, it's a big percentage of the world's GDP. It's going to keep growing, growing. Um, within Europe alone, um, uh, the size of the European data economy right now is 400 billion. So overall, it's a very big number. Um, so, so with those two ideas in place, how crypto had opened up money and data is a big economy, but it's right now a shadow data economy. Um, you know, there's a handful of large players that are accruing all the value, the Facebooks of the world. The idea of, of Ocean is, um, just like crypto, to open up um, this thing that was previously a shadow. And in the case of Ocean, it's about opening a uh, data economy. That's what Ocean is about. So what is Ocean V3? Um, the main things are its data tokens, which uh, wraps each data service with an ERC20 token. And this, of course, gives it a, a big um, path into DeFi as well, a big bridge. Um, secondly, Ocean Market, which is, you can think of it like a DEX, decentralized exchange, but tuned for data. And there's a big staking component in that too. And finally, um, we are deploying to Ethereum mainnet rather than our own um, POA network. And this makes it permissionless and really helps with composability, usability, and so on. Uh, we're maintaining um, previous feature of privacy preserving, which was what we had, uh, which was the main part of Ocean V2, compute data. And finally, we put this into the context of an overall system level design um, for the Ocean token, which is designed not only for near term growth, but long term sustainability. Um, if there's one slide I want you to remember from what I'm presenting here, this is maybe the slide, it's about data tokens. And so uh, Ocean data tokens and Ocean itself, you can view as an on-ramp and off-ramp of data to crypto, um, and especially DeFi. So in this picture here on the left, we've got Ocean as the sort of on-ramp that creates data assets from data services and data sets. And those data assets, every single data asset is its own ERC20 token. On the far right, um, you can consume those and Ocean helps you with those too. Um, so the, the same person publishing it uh, and serving it up initially as the person helping um, on the consume side or the, the company, et cetera. In between though, um, what was traditionally just sort of pure money and pure tokens, now all of this basically sort of gets repurposed towards data. So MetaMask becomes a data wallet. Aragon becomes a data DAO. Balancer becomes a data exchange. Coin market cap becomes a data provenance tool. And we can even get a bit more kind of fun with things like Nexus Mutual becoming data insurance tools, et cetera, et cetera. So we're leveraging all this um, great infrastructure that has been developed over many years and hardened and repurposing it towards crypto. But of course, uh, not only repurposing it, but also also um, really great interoperability among um, this existing thing as, um, and data. That's data tokens. The next part is ocean market. And uh, to summarize, once again, it's a decentralized exchange tuned for data. So the core actions are uh, what a marketplace does, which is buy and selling data, 
But also, um, it makes it really easy to do that first step, publishing on data, and the final step, consuming data. And um, when you are publishing the data, you actually have the option to make a data pool of it, um, basically an automated market maker. And on that, you can stake. So it allows you to stake on data. And then with this, there's a couple ways to earn, right? You can um, sell data, you can stake on the data and, and earn transaction fees. Or of course, you can run your own fork of ocean market. And we encourage that actually. Um, it's got other um, really great features. You know, AMMs, uh, pools by their nature have built-in price discovery. Um, and you know we've got balancer tech under the hood working closely with the balancer team to make that happen uh, also basically the quality of a data set um one of the uh, the filters uh one of the criteria you can use is simply how much stake is there on that pool so if no one staked on the thing then it's probably not going to be interesting it very likely is spam so you can sort by the amount of liquidity in the pool which basically is a very honest curation signal and finally um just as we introduced in ocean v2 we had compute to data um that allows you to preserve privacy while being able to still benefit from accessing that data to build AI models. With, with Ocean Market, what we're doing is uh, pulling that into Ocean Market. So that means you can buy and sell private data while preserving privacy, right? At first glance, it sounds like a paradox, but the whole idea is that um, it's access for AI eyes only, you know, to train the model and that's it. So that's the summary of Ocean Market. Um, and finally, Ocean itself is on Ethereum mainnet, um, which means it's permissionless um, substrate. Um, it's much easier to build on. There's a, a great dev community, great values. You know, we, we've um, been very close to that community for a long, long time, basically since the beginning. Um, the also, you know, it's got excellent composability. Um, and like mentioned, you know, there's direct integration with wallets, with DEXs, with DAOs, Etherscan, all of this. Um, in the past, we had a bridge to uh, um, our own POA network. Of course, now that Ocean is bridged, um, it, sorry, Ocean is on Ethereum mainnet. There's no bridge needed that way. And finally, um, as the Ethereum ecosystem keeps improving um, things over time with things like uh, ZK rollups, optimistic rollups, um, and other improvements in scale and privacy and more, uh, we'll be able to take advantage of that and the whole community. So, so that's really great. Um, to sort of recap what computed data is, the, the general idea is um, at the top level is the data scientist where they have their compute script um, and they want to see the results. The middle layer is Ocean sort of playing uh, this handshaking role. And on the bottom part, this is the, the data provider. So their data gets to stay on premise, bottom left. Um, but the compute script that's supplied by the data scientist, top left, um, gets run. And that's the, the bottom middle. So, so that's uh, very nice. And then the results of the script show up in the top right, which is, um, yeah, the results. And it can be for um, AI, model building and all that. But it can even be simpler, things like computing a median or average for um, business intelligence type applications. Um, and overall, too, uh, as part of V3, we've introduced sort of an overall ocean system level design um, such that ocean is um, sustainable in the long term, yet also can help to catalyze growth in the near term. And the heart of it is the ocean token. So all these purple boxes, each of those purple boxes is um, another aspect of what the ocean token does. So on the top right, for example, um, ocean token is uh, playing a role where you stake ocean for a percentage of sales. Uh, um, as well as um, bottom right, you're getting a percentage of sales that go to the community. And um, all these help to drive, you know, Ocean to help maintain the health, which um, helps to maintain the health of the ecosystem. Uh, a key thing is from the, everything on the right, this data ecosystem box, that's where all the marketplaces, et cetera, are uh, looping around to on the left, um, Ocean DAO, it's second box from the left. Um, Ocean DAO is basically playing the role of allocating uh, uh, revenue, et cetera, to the ocean community, which is in the very, very center. Um, you know, people building, um, improving uh, the core ocean code, as well as building applications, unlocking data, et cetera. And so it, it forms this loop, right? Um, as volume goes up, you know, with more um, data being sold, then the, the tiny percent revenue, the cut from that goes to the community. And that um, to the community, um, it then can take that to build more apps and improve their apps and so on. And so the cycle goes, and that's really the heart of Ocean. So, um, you know, we've, we've done a, a big upgrade to the Ocean token design for, for V3. And um, of course, the main part is on the box on the right, which is um, uh, what we've been rolling out specifically for V3. The final step is V4, which is um, this box second from the left, Ocean down. Uh, the Ocean architecture um, is uh, as shown, and there's, and maybe at first glance, it might seem like a lot, but it's really very simple. The, uh, there's three layers. The top layer is applications, things like Ocean Market as, an, uh, as a data marketplace. 
uh, but also you know wallets like MetaMask and more. And the middle is libraries that just make it easy to um, wrap um, the lower level, which is smart contracts. So the libraries, uh, we have a JavaScript library called OceanJS, a Python library called OceanPy, and, um, and React hooks as well. And besides those libraries, we've got a couple other pieces of middleware. One thing to help manage metadata called Ocean Aquarius. But, you know, some people might want to use things like the graph and stuff, too. That's great. We, we encourage that. And the other piece of middleware we have is Ocean Provider, which helps um, for the data onboarding and offboarding. Finally, at the lowest level is Smart Contracts. And um, these also are um, simple on purpose. We have a factory to create data tokens. Um, and these data tokens are, uh, each of them is an ERC-20 um, token. And also we have um, a, a pool uh, to create um, AMMs. And this is using balancer technology. And we work closely with the balancer team on this. So um, that's really the heart of the contracts there. And I guess one more contract, um, and that is metadata is also being stored on chain now. Um, and this really helps for data availability and liveness and that sort of thing. So, so that's the summary of the architecture. Uh, you know, really simple three layers, apps layer, uh, libraries layer, um, at, slash middleware, and smart contracts. Uh, so to wrap up, uh, as I've described, Ocean is tools for the Web3 data economy, where you can earn on data using Ocean Market by selling data or curating on it, as well as um, building your own app for secure, privacy-preserving data exchange, whether it's a, a marketplace or something else. And this is all powered by a data tokens-based architecture. Um, and you know what is Ocean V3 then? Um, the heart of it is this data tokens architecture, which wrap uh, each data service of, with ERC20 tokens, Ocean Market, which is a DEX tune for data, and finally deployment to Ethereum mainnet. And of course, we've kept computed data to preserve privacy. And we now have this um, Ocean system design, um, which uh, is designed for near-term growth and long-term sustainability. And I think that wraps it up. Yes, it does. So with that, I will, I'm back to me. Good, good, good. And I can stop sharing. I guess it stopped. So with that, I'm pretty sure, you know, you've had, you've heard um, Bruce talk and you've heard me talk. I'm pretty sure you want to see the real thing. So with this, I'm going to pass on to my colleague, Matthias Kreischmann, who is an ocean designer and developer. He's going to walk us through a flow with ocean market demonstration. Uh, Nick, uh, off to you, Matthias. Oh.